Keep rolling, 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 what? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Garage Gear. I'm JB, and this is another episode of how to make your lawnmower last a lifetime. Today, we are lubricating the wheels and gears on this Honda HRN 216 VKA, and these instructions will be very similar for just about any kind of walk-behind lawnmower. Get your lube ready. It's time to get started. So now you may be asking, JB, why are we doing this? Simply put, when there's points of contact, there's friction. Friction creates wear. If your wheel bearings or wheels in general wear down, that's how you get wobbly wheels, drive issues when you push down on the levers, and the need to purchase new wheels sooner than you should. This is one simple step that'll add a considerable amount of life to the mower wheel, make the mower even easier to push, and prevent any seizing from taking place. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna tip the mower up on one side, a jack stand should work just fine for you. Those Harbor Freight ones though nowadays, eh, they're a little iffy. Just saying, you could even use a couple blocks of wood. You just have to get the mower a couple inches off the ground. Take your 12 millimeter socket, remove the bolts from the front and back wheels, and slide the wheels right off. So here we have a metal wheel shaft, and you can see that Honda actually put a dab of grease already on here. Way to go, Honda. The front wheel here, as we can see, has no wheel bearing and is all plastic. So what we're gonna have to do here is put a little bit more grease inside so that way we don't have it wearing down sooner than we should. Then on the back side, we have another metal wheel shaft plus some metal gears that already come with grease on them. Again, well done, Honda. Anytime I see these on any other brand, they're usually bone dry. This is the back wheel, and we can see that we have a metal housing inside that wheel hub that will protect us from wearing down but we are going to grease that as well we also have a metal gear here that we're going to grease up too. slap on your gloves because this will be messy we're going to pop this little cover right off there we go we'll need some of this and we'll need some of this. So this is Lucas Oil Red and Tacky Grease. I like using this stuff because it's good for chassis and wheel bearing protection. It also has good resistance to rust, corrosion, and water as well. And over here we can see that it's excellent for trucks, cars, industrial equipment, farm equipment, boat trailers, and wheel bearings. Excellent. Inside we can see that this is some very tacky stuff. Look at that. Oh yeah. Super goopy. I love this stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to take a little bit on our finger. We're just going to spread it across the wheel shaft. Remember Remember, a thin amount wins. Thin wins, thick sticks. So lay it on thin, that's all you'll need. That's it. Now, if you remember back to the last video where I rust proofed the entire lawnmower, I avoided doing the height adjusters because they were hard to get to with the wheels in their way. Take a look at what I'm about to do now. Now what I'm gonna do is spray down this height adjuster with a little fluid film. You could even use stable rust stopper. And then I'm just gonna wipe all around and work that stuff in. And again, thin wins, thick sticks, so put it on thin. We'll do up here too. Looks good to me. Now we're just gonna slide the wheel back on. Put on our bolt and tighten it down. Look at that baby spin. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. What? Keep rolling, 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 rolling. Now here on the back side, what I'm gonna do is pull this gear back just a little bit, spray some fluid film back there behind the gear and then just kind of spin it around a little bit to work it in. Take the fluid film right here in the front and give that a quick shot as well. Spin the gear and work it in. Then I'm gonna take my fluid film, give all this a quick shot, wipe this down to protect it. Then I'm gonna coat the height adjuster. All set. So inside these gears are some tiny little springs and some keyways. Now if those rust up and seize together, the back wheels on this mower could possibly not move. So by keeping those lubricated often will help keep this whole system moving and never seize up. I like using fluid film for these applications because it's a good penetrant and a lubricant. It'll sink down into those tiny crevices and really get at those springs and keyways. Then I'm just gonna slide my debris shield back on, grease up the wheel shaft, then we're also gonna put a thin amount of grease around the outside of this gear. Just work it around by hand, just like that. That's what it should look like. Slide the wheel back on, put the bolt back on, and send her home. Done. So now this side is all lubricated and protected. Now we're gonna go on to the other side.
Also, here's a little pointer. This little metal tab right here, make sure that lines up into this slot right here. This thing moves so easy now. It's unbelievable. Just wants to keep going. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is a procedure that I've been doing for many, many years on many, many mowers. I really don't find myself purchasing wheels for a lot of mowers because I do these steps year after year. Now, some people like to tell me that this will become a grass magnet on the inside of the wheels. Well, if you lay it on thin, you should be fine. Some grass might get stuck on there, but this is one of those procedures that I do year after year as I winterize my mowers. I'll take the wheels off, clean all their bad grease off, put new grease on, and they're set for the next season. After all, Honda put a little dab of grease on each of the wheels anyways. I don't think Honda would have done that if they didn't find some level of importance here with that. Some people have also told me that a lot of clippings will get stuck to the gears inside those back wheels. But if you have good dust covers on the back side of those wheels, you really should only have a minimal amount inside by the end of the season. Really not something I worry about and I clean it out yearly anyways. Now if your lawnmower has wheel bearings on the front and back wheels, you may want to consider taking out those bearings and repacking those full of grease maybe every couple of seasons. This is one of those procedures that takes five to 10 minutes to do and your gears will thank you down the road. The mower is a lot easier to push now and I know plenty of small engine mechanics that do this year after year. If you'd like to pick up some of this red and tacky Lucas Oil grease, I'll have it linked down below in the description. For more cool videos on how to make your lawnmower last a lifetime, check out my links down below. Be sure to follow me further at Garage Gear JB on Instagram and please share this video with a friend or family member. If you enjoyed this video, give me one of these and you know the deal. If you're you're feeling the vibe and you want to be part of the tribe, subscribe so that way you can stay up to date with everything going on here at Garage Gear. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.